Mrs. Johnson, this is Mrs. Betancourt, the principal from Anna's school. I'm calling to let you know that Anna was in a fight at school today. No one has been seriously hurt, but I'm going to have to suspend her. We need to meet and discuss this because it is required by law. Oh no, I'll be right there. How long is this suspension going to last, Mrs. Betancourt? Anna has already been suspended twice this year. Four days. Anna, what happened? Mom, it wasn't my fault. Kids were making fun of me, so I stood up for myself. Mrs. Betancourt, why does this keep happening? Kids are picking on Anna because she's in special education. Anna, you can't keep having these fights in school. But they started it. Mrs. Johnson, this suspension will mean that Anna will be out of school on suspension for more than 10 days this school year. By law, we're required to hold a planning and placement team meeting to discuss Anna's individual education program. Because Anna will be out for a total of more than 10 days, that's considered a change in placement. What does that mean? It means that Anna's PPT has to determine the appropriate services to allow her to continue to learn the same things her classmates are learning. What about the kids picking on her? They do it because she's in special ed. She shouldn't be suspended since they started it. We do have to look into whether Anna's behavior was caused by her disability or if her behavior had a direct and substantial relationship to her disability. We also consider if her behavior was because the school failed to apply her IEP. This process is called a manifestation determination. We have to decide this within the next 10 school days. We'll do this at a PPT meeting. What happens if we decide that Anna's disability didn't cause the behavior? If that happens, she can be disciplined like any other child, but the school has to continue to provide services to her. These are all things we are required by law to do. What happens if we decide Anna's behavior was caused by the school failing to apply her IEP? Then Anna will not be suspended like other children. We may also consider calling a PPT to discuss Anna's services and consider whether we need to change them. Thank you for giving me honest information. You're welcome.